Remove the right side screw. Compatible cartridges made in China may be slightly different. Remove the end cap. Be careful, it could be glued. Slide the toner section, and separate the two halves of the cartridge, toner section, and drum section. Lift the drum, twist, and remove it from the drum section. Remove the charge roller. Probably, it's not necessary to remove the wiper blade, you only have to remove the waste toner. If you want to remove the wiper blade, remove the two screws. The wiper blade is probably reusable. Clean the blade with alcohol. Then, lubricate the edge of the blade with toner. Be careful not to damage the recovery blade that is located next to the wiper blade. If this blade is bent in any way, the cartridge will leak. On the toner hopper, remove the screw. Remove the end cap. Remove the magnetic roller, with its bushings, and the gear. The toner, is held to the magnetic roller sleeve by the stationary magnet, inside the sleeve. Be careful of the bushings, they are very fragile. The magnetic roller bushings keep a specific gap from the magnetic roller to the drum. Remove the two screws of the doctor blade. Remove the two white plastic spacers. Remove the doctor blade. Be careful, the blade could be glued. Clean out all the remaining toner from the cartridge. It's better to use compressed air. If not, clean the cartridge as well as possible, at open air. Getting all the old toner out, is very important, the toner left in the cartridge, is mostly waste toner, so the quality will be compromised. Do not breathe the toner dust. Clean the magnetic roller with a dry soft cloth. The magnetic roller, carries the toner from the supply chamber, to the drum. Clean the charge roller, with water. The charge roller, places the initial charge on the drum, as well as erases the residual charge, at the end of the cycle. It's better to replace the drum. If you want to reuse the drum, look for wear, check for nicks, and clean it with isopropyl alcohol. Be careful with the drum, so it does not become damaged. Store the drum in a dark place, the light may damage the drum. The doctor blade, must be perfectly straight. Clean the doctor blade, with isopropyl alcohol. The doctor blade, controls the amount of toner on the magnetic roller. There is no fill hole, in these cartridges so it must be filled through the doctor blade slot.
Fill the cartridge with 60 grams of black HP toner. Install the doctor blade and the two screws. Install the magnetic roller, gear side first. Note that the two bushings on the magnetic roller are different. Install the side plate. Turn the roller until the keyed end looks in place. Install the end cap and the screw. Turn the developer roller by hand several times to make sure it's correctly installed and there are no spots on the surface. In case of dirty on the developer roller, clean it with a soft cloth. Reinstall the charge roller. Lubricate the drum with toner, or the wiper blade may damage it. Reinstall the drum. Place the drum section into the toner section. Slide it over, so the round hinge pins fit into their respective holes. Set the hopper tension springs back in place. Reinstall the drum end cap. Install the screw. It's not necessary to glue the end cap, only check if it's straight. This cartridge has a chip, it has to be replaced every time you refill the cartridge. And the work is done. For any problem with the cartridge, in the description of this video you'll find a link to a troubleshooting guide.